Today I'll be showing you how I organized my art supplies on my new crafting table, upcycling my old spice rack and some glass jars. Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. Hi my crafty fam, and if you're new to my channel, welcome! If you've been a crafty member for a while, then you've probably seen these before. These are the very first art supply organizers I made when I started the channel. I remember how excited I was when I first made them, and although they will always be nostalgic to me, it was time for an upgrade. As you see, some of these are pretty beat up because I never sealed them. I'll be using all new glass jars with wider rims except for this one. This one will get a makeover because it's the perfect size for my pouncer brushes. Let's get started. First things first, I'm going to organize some of my glitters so that they're easily accessible. For this, I'll be using my old spice rack. If you don't have one, use your empty spice jars. Just clean them out and remove the labels. Then, they'll be ready for you to store your glitter or whatever you'd like. For example, I use my empty spice jars to organize my bathroom cabinet. They make my life easier when I'm getting ready in the morning and everything stays organized, which I absolutely love. And YouTube has tons of videos to DIY your own Lazy Susan to put them in. I have a certain color pattern I wanted to stick to, so I took off all the caps and spray painted them. I took them outside and spray painted them chrome, and this is how they turned out. It was slightly flurring out and I couldn't wait, so that's why they have those bubbles. It's okay though, it'll do. I also spray painted this yellow organizer that I keep some of my crafting supplies in. Once the caps were dry, it was time to fill the spice jars with each glitter color. Now, you know I love me some glitter and everything that shimmers. Glitter is made from aluminum and plastic, but other shimmering products aren't. Something I felt important to mention is, any art supply that I own at the moment, I've had it for years. The shimmering mineral used in everything from art supplies, nail polish, makeup, and any kind of shiny paint is called mica. I saw a documentary where children die collecting this mineral to make money. Companies all over the world are buying it without making sure that it is ethically sourced. So, moving forward, as I restock, I will only be purchasing products that contain fair trade mica only. If you're interested in hearing more about mica and what you can do, I left the documentary link in the description box below. All that's left is to put the caps on and store them back into the Lazy Susan. Voila! The first jar I'm remaking is this drip paint look. I thought I was so artsy fartsy when I made this one. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the drip theme, but make it a little more elegant. Using a pouncer brush and white matte acrylic paint, I painted a large Yankee candle jar I had. Don't forget to paint the rim. I mixed two different colors to get the color I wanted and painted the whole jar. Again, you don't want to forget the rim. Using a thin brush and glitter paint, I created the drip effect. I placed a generous amount of glitter paint on the area and kept the jar upright. You can form the drips by using the brush to manipulate where you want it to go down. This is easy if you keep the jar upright after applying the glitter paint. I kept tilting it so the camera could catch what I was doing and the drip started moving sideways. It's all good though, because it turned out fabulous anyway. 
I coated the rim and set it aside to dry. Now that it's dry, I'm going to add more glitter by using Elmer's glue and loose white glitter. I applied the Elmer's glue the same way. I then added the loose white glitter. Make sure to have something under the jar to catch the fallout. This time, I made sure to keep the jar upright and the drips went straight down. After it dried, I didn't like the white. So I added this chunkier iridescent glitter on top and it was exactly the look I was going for. I wanted this next glass jar to have the slightest hint of pink to it. So I tinted it using clear glue and food coloring. I mixed some clear glue and one drop of pink food coloring. I only used one drop because I wanted the jar to have a slight hint of color. I poured the mix into the jar and swirled it around until the entire inside of the jar was coated. You want to turn it upside down and let all of the excess glue drain out. I placed it upside down onto my silicone mat so that it could finish draining and completely dry. I wasn't sure if it was going to be too dark, but as you can see, it turned out perfect. Now, I will hand paint the pattern. I was going for a plaid look. Listen, I'm not that great at making straight lines. You just have to go slow and steady. Remember, you can always use a cotton swab to wipe up any mistakes. After I finished the design, I sealed it with a clear sealer. I absolutely love how these came out. It was so much fun playing with my paints and glitter after so long. I'm obsessed. These are simple, fun, and oh so cute. 
I hope this inspired you to make something of your own. You can always make them different colors to match your decor. That's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two and three so you can see how I made my full set. I miss you guys and can't wait to share all the new ideas I have. Go grab your art supplies and make something. Just remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.